Hey Taurus, this is Jackie Tobin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of January 9th, 2023. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. These are being recorded live this week, so bear with me. Um, if you guys are seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. And also, uh, if you're seeking a personal reading, contact me on my website. These are general readings, so take with you what resonates and what does not. Uh, first energy I have up for you that a Leo may resonate with some of you and some of it may not. Uh, you're putting your foot down to someone who is using and are taking advantage of you. Here is this a good week for a good business deal. Uh, your next major new beginning, you're under a new beginning right now, and then your next major one would be in summer. Um, and if you're outside of the U.S., summer I'm looking at is I think it's June 20th, June 21st, somewhere around there. Okay, uh, it's a time frame of a new emotional path, and I think it has to do with love. Some of you are closing out a love sector, and some of you are starting something brand new in the love life. It's going to be really good, uh, something that you're willing to celebrate. Okay, so let's go, Taurus, let's see what we have coming up for you. First card up, you've got the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is movement, moving on the home front. Someone moving in, someone moving out. Perhaps you're getting ready to make a residential move or you've already made your residential move. But there's some kind of movement on the home front here. And with that, we have Judgment. Okay. This is going to be really important. And I really want to extend this card throughout the month of January for my Taurus. Okay. Okay. Do not pass judgment on someone too quickly because when you do, you're going to find out that you're wrong. That is standing for the entire month. Now, Taurus, also want to make mention that you're still under retro until the 18th, the time frame of the unexpected, both good and bad. Three of Cups comes in. Three people um, unplanned get together, unplanned outing. Three or more people, it does look like a good time, though, okay? Some form of entertainment is what I'm seeing here. And we have the Page of Cups. Someone coming in with an unexpected offer of love, and I will be real honest with you, I do not think it's going to meet your expectations, okay? So let's adjust here at the first of the year towards what your expectations are so you're not setting yourself up for disappointment. Also want to throw out that a Pisces may or may not resonate with you guys. Center of the reading, you guys have temperance. Okay, Sagittarius energy. Um, testing the waters, trying to do things differently. Okay, it's showing that you recognized and embraced that when you do the same thing, you get the same results. So you're going to change things up and get a more positive result because of it. Hey, Miss Dana, it's okay on the notifications because they're short reads. I'm in and out, in and out. They won't send the notifications So surprises me you got one at all so then we have the knight of pentacles there's a good business deal coming into play here uh perhaps you're looking at going in business for yourself uh perhaps you're looking at a partnership an entrepreneur you are looking at starting some kind of side hustle doing something on the side it is going to be successful so if this is things that you're thinking about starting here the first year i'm going to highly recommend that you move on this okay and we have the Page of Swords, okay? Page of Swords, guarded, defensive, let your guard down some, okay? Um, also, you may be dealing with another Taurus energy, to be quite honest with you. Um, you're definitely being a little bullheaded this week, so I want to throw that out there as well. And we have that Ace of Wands. And that Ace of Wands is backing up. But yes, your new beginning is now. It is this week. It is the week of the ninth. Now, depending on what platform you are watching this video on, I will also have to say that the week of January 2nd, those videos are up as well. Okay. And we have, in this deck, it is the Pope. Something like the emperor, you're making some big executive decisions, some decisions that you're very proud of. Um, some things that you've put some thought in are finally coming into fruition and you're finally, you're getting things done. You're starting off on a new foot and a clean slate. Okay. So let's go a little bit further with these messages for the Taurus. 
And first card up, we have that nine of pentacles, something to do with your finances, some kind of financial independence. I really go back to a side hustle or starting a business. Okay. And then we have the high priest. The high priest says that you're grounded, you're centered, um, you're intuitive, but this is clarifying that judgment card. So do not, you've got to use your discernment between what is intuitive that you know versus what you're passing judgment on. It's going to be the trick for you this week. Part of that emotional path. Okay, and then we have that five of wands, being true to yourself. Okay, be true to yourself. Could also be part of that judgment of maybe you spend too much time worrying about what people think of you. On that page of cups, there there is, again, the unexpected offer of love. So something is coming up here. Center of the reading, again, we have the Three of Cups. We have that, you know, third person, the uh, celebration, the get-together. There's some kind of entertainment going on here. Uh, could be a live venue or something. I mean, it's just something I really want to say it comes on very quickly. It's unplanned and just goes very well. Got you, machine. I know you will. Knight of Wands energy. Same way your reading started. There's definitely movement on the home front. I don't know if some of you have already changed residences or you're looking at that residential move, but this move is part of the new beginning that is now in January. Okay. So it's going to be significant. Quick moving energy. It's going to be a quick moving week for my Taurus. You know, something rushing in. What do we have rushing in for you guys? We have the star energy. That star is rushing in. comes in with wish fulfillment, total happiness, and total contentment. But there is a delay. There is a but there. There is a delay. A delay is actually going to work into your favor. And we have the Empress card. Positive changes on the home front. For some of you, could be getting news of a pregnancy. want to throw that out there as well. And for your bonus card, we've had two jump out. King of Pentacles comes in with financial dependence, um, independence in its highest form. Also, you may be dealing with a Gemini. Okay. You have a lot of earth. That's cool. And we have justice. Justice will be served. I want to give you another person that's a major con on the four pentacles. Okay, so justice is being served. There's something there that's there to help restore your financial balance or perhaps you're helping someone else out but something restores everything and just puts you on that right track uh four of pentacles is keeping some thoughts feelings opinions to yourself um this is a week of being on a new emotional path and those emotions are running high and honestly taurus i'm going to say that when you're on that new emotional path now is not the time to to display emotions just want to throw that out there. All right. That is your week of the night. So logging off, coming right back with Gemini. Gemini, let's see what the next holds for you. Thank you guys for watching. JackieTelman.com for personal readings. I'll see you soon. Bye.